We will begin by casting on for the hat, create a slip knot, and place it on one of the pegs. I am going to be using the E wrap non loopy cast on. You're welcome to use whichever cast on you prefer. Go ahead and cast on. To reach the first peg for this cast on, you need the first peg for the second peg that doesn't have a loop. You reach behind and grab the yarn that's behind and twist it, place it on the peg, and then you knit it. Let me demonstrate that one more time. Reach for that yarn behind, twist it, place it on the peg, and knit it. Do this all the way around the knitting loom for the cast on. I have reached the end of that cast on row. I'm at the beginning of that first peg. Ground one through eight are completed exactly the same and they dictate to do the following. I am ready to do round one. Round one through eight are exactly the same, so we're gonna repeat round one a total of eight times. Let's begin round one. Round one dictates to do knit two, then purl two. You will repeat these four stitches all the way around the knitting loom. So I just finished purling two. Now I will repeat again, then knit two, Then purl two. I have reached the end of the row. I am ready to begin round two. You will repeat the same instructions as round one for round two through eight. After round eight, I will come back and I will show you how to do the stitch pattern rounds. We'll see you at that point. The stitch pattern that we're going to be using repeats itself every four rounds. So in order to complete it, you need to work four rounds. I am going to demonstrate round one, round two, round three, and round four, and then you will follow those four rounds for the body of the hat. Let's begin. The stitch pattern takes place over 12 pegs. I recommend using four stitch markers, two of one color and two of a different color. Place one of the stitch markers on peg one and place the matching color on peg 12. Then you are going to place a, the other stitch marker on peg four. Just count four from the first peg, one, two, three, four. And then you are going to place another one, five pegs from that one, one, two, three, four, five. So you will have stitch markers on peg one, on peg four, on peg nine, and peg 12. Ground one. Start with knit two, purl one, e wrap, knit one, purl one, knit two, 
Pearl 1. Erep Knit 1. Pearl 1. Knit 2. And you're going to purl to the end. So purl all the remaining stitches. Finish this round up and I'll show you round two. Finishing up round one. Now for round two, we are going to twist on the first two stitches. So first you're going to knit the second peg. Hold that loop. Move the loop from the first peg over to the second. Place the loop you're holding back on the empty peg. Now knit that second peg. Purl one. You wrap knit one. Purl one. We're going to twist on the next two pegs. So again, knit the second. Hold it, move the first over to the second, move the one you are holding over to the first, knit that second. Purl one. E wrap knit one. Purl one. And we're going to twist those last two. So again, knit the second. Hold it, move the first over to the second, place the one you're holding back, knit the second one. Now you are going to knit all the way to the first, to the last peg. So, and that is round number two. Continue on knitting all the way to the end of the round, and I'll see you at the beginning of round three. Round number three is exactly as round one. So we're going to knit the first two, purl the next one, e wrap knit next one, purl one, knit two, purl one. E wrap knit one, purl one, knit two. Now you are going to purl from that next peg all the way to the last peg, and that is round number three. So go ahead and purl all the way to the end of the round. And then I'll show you round number four. Round four. You will knit the first two pegs. Purl the next one. E wrap knit one. Purl one. Knit two. Purl one. E wrap knit one, purl one, knit two. Now you are going to knit from the next peg all the way to the last peg, and that is round number four. For the hat, you will repeat rounds one through four until the hat has reached the desired length. For a baby hat, anywhere from five and a half inches to six and a half inches will work. So go ahead and repeat these four rounds until your hat measures at least five and a half inches from the cast on edge. And then I will show you how to bind off. 
So the stitch pattern is looking like this. You have the twist, the e-wrap knit, the twist, the e-wrap knit. Next to the e-wrap knits, we have our pearl stitches. And that is our stitch pattern right there. I am going to demonstrate the bind off rounds. So please follow along. We are going to do knit two, purl two, repeating that sequence all the way around the knitting loom. Of knit two, purl two. We will repeat this round one more time for a total of two times. I am nearing the end of round one of the bind off. Repeat that round one more time. So knit two, purl two, all the way around the knitting loom. And we'll see you at the end of the round. Now you're going to cut the working yarn leaving about 20 inches in length and thread it through a tapestry needle. Remove the first two stitches onto this tapestry needle. Skip two and remove the next two. So skipping two two skip two remove the next two skip two repeat this all the way around the knitting loom removing two skipping two removing two skipping two Cut a second piece of yarn about 20 inches in length and thread it through the tapestry needle. With the second piece of yarn, remove all the stitches that remain on the loom. Remove the knitting loop. Now you will locate the beginning of the second piece of yarn. You will gently pull on those ends to tighten it. There's one. I'm gonna tighten it. Create a knot with those two ends create a knot with those two ends Perfect. now reach inside the hat for the first piece of yarn And you will tighten it gently, tightening those stitches. See how it tightens on the end, in the middle. Perfect. Closing that hole at the top. See? Excellent. Now gently weaving the ends. Make sure you pass these two that are on the right side, these two tail ends. Poke them through the center with your tapestry needle. I'll show you how. Thread them through the tapestry needle. 
and then poke them through the center to the wrong side. Excellent. Now weave them in. Make sure you weave in all the ends and secure them tightly to the wrong side of the hat as this will belong to a baby so you don't want any any tight any loose pieces of thread that may be a hazard to the baby here we have finished the hat you can see the twist three of them displayed in our stitch pattern here are the twisted knit stitches these are the e-wrap stitches that we did they add a special effect to the whole hat. Thanks for joining me.